Okay, so I'm going to try. I'm going to just make an attempt to explain the similarity between the uh, uh, the selection of points and selection of uh, of distances. Uh, so when we're talking about the distances here, as I mentioned before, for example, taking a distance from uh, one of the points at the top to one of the points at the bottom. That's going to make sense as a thing to measure, especially if you want to distinguish between shapes that have those lumps coming out of them. Um, in the case of points, you just want the selection of points, and you usually represent them as x, y, as opposed to the uh, d. Right. So the good thing about d, though, uh, d is going to be uh, is going to be resistant, or is going to be uh, uh, robust, or, in or insensitive to the movement of these things you know, moving back and forth like very often you see with anatomy. Uh, with X and Y, the X and Y coordinates are going to change quite widely as you move around, you know, this direction and that direction. D is going to stay about the same, assuming the shape actually does stay the same length. Uh, so for modeling of, of human, uh, should we say, well, not human parts, but any animals, for example, a classification of those, uh, you'd expect all these uh, organs to stay about the same length, and if you manage to measure the right things, you will achieve that. Uh, in, 3D, in, in 3D, that's going to be very common. Uh, in 3D faces, that's going to be common, so people kind of flex their muscles, but uh, the distances between things, the relative distances, will stay just about the same. Uh, so let, let's, let's, let's try and do a comparison now mathematically between those uh, two approaches and how they are getting coded uh, in PCA.